Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We're playing more Curse of the Dead Gods, which I really enjoyed last time. Uh, it's been a couple of days. Um, I wasn't really feeling it yesterday. I wasn't feeling well. So, hey, Fleming, how you doing, man? So let's see what weapons we can take. I like the claws. You know I like the claws. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for the claws, like... What do we actually have on us right now? Just the sword and the gun, right? Okay. I like the claws. So I'm going to go for the claws. Doing well. Glad I could catch one of your streams again. Yeah, man. Thanks for popping in. Appreciate it very much. So let's go for it. So there's events that we could do, but I'm still not sold on the idea uh, of trying them just yet. <laughs> and we still haven't went through the, the basic Storm Throne yet. So let's uh, let's get the, the three basic ones done first, then we can advance up the temple and do the, the more advanced ones. Do this as a as a quick trial run. So I don't really care about gold. I want a good weapon. So yeah, and this one gives us the most choices later on anyway. So we'll go for here. Glad to see you again, though, man. How's uh, how's uni going in that? Try to figure it out as well. Yeah, okay. Dodge, parry. I'm on semester break now, so it's pretty chill. Nice, man. Need to get another game of Street Fighter on the go, I think. Oh no! Ah! Skeptic, thanks, man. Thank you so very much for the uh, for the raid, there, buddy. Nice to see you again. Whoa. Ah. This is not going well. Hello, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. This is not going well at all. <laughs> this is very badass, man. Uh, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> this is my second time playing it, though, so... Um, yeah. 
it's a roguelike, a roguelike, kind of like uh, The Binding of Isaac, but with the gameplay of a kind of like, a, a, sorry, Demon Souls, like a, you know, like dodge, parry, sort of, sort of thing. Yeah, Flem holding nothing back. Thanks, Flem. Uh, let me see. Swift Bow. Better Claws. See, those claws are good as well. I'm going to go for these ones, though. And I'm going to do my risk-reward thing of offering blood so that I can save money. Yeah, like... For example, if Hades is Devil May Cry, this is Dark Souls. Same idea though, you know? But just sort of, Hades is more like really high octane, action packed. This is a bit more methodical. Hades is a bit more frantic, I would say. Whoa! Cool. I like that. You can, like, burn away those things. I've got poison touch now. Great. To eat. It's going to work right now. Ah! Agreed. To start two hours early so my boss could rest up a bit. That's crazy, man. Well, I mean, I hope you have a, an, an alright day at work, even though you've got to work two hours early. But I'm sure you'll be fine. You seem like a very capable gent. Yeah! I'm just checking. Ah, okay. Might as well. Eh? It's a weekend. Let the uh, weekend starts early tomorrow. Perfect then. Good. Well, thank you again for the raid, buddy, and take care with the we are uh, we are job in that today. <laughs> Death. Gain 4% of max health when you pass through a door. Nice. That's going to be really helpful right now. <gasps> Plus 2 constitution, dexterity, and perception. Woofed. 30% damage against weakened enemies, plus 3 dex. 
minus 30% blood off Rinkless. That would be really good, but... Ooh, that's going to take me up to my first curse, though. You know what? Let's go for it. Offer gold. So here we go, first cursed guys. Let's go for healing. <laughs> Touch of sorrow. Look into the uh, look to the moon to see the sun's light and its reflection. Look to the sun if you want to go blind. Your torch loses fire and lightning, uh, lighting properties. It shines with a dark light, still revealing hidden traps. You no longer take extra damage when standing in darkness. That's good. So, no light anymore. Unless the light is natural. Oh. Straight up then, I guess. So you still see traps with the torch, but it doesn't give off any light anymore. Which is fine. Ah! Eat that. I wasn't very skillful like, but... can't light any fire pits anymore either, yeah. That's exactly right. You can still see traps in that though, which is good, but like, yeah. No fire pits unfortunately. But nah! Oh! Oh no! That was a bad idea. Five percent of critical damage dealt also heals you. Nice. Okay. Yeah, the uh, the curses to start off with are like kind of risk reward. They're kind of like they are quite balanced, but as they get higher and higher, you know, like there's different tiers of uh, curse, and as they get higher and higher, they get more more and more dangerous. So you got to really balance it out, you know. Two hundred fifty max health. 25% treasure find. 250 max health. Yeah, let's do both. Let's offer gold to do that. We've got an extra 250 health as well, which is good. But every time you pass through one of these doors, you get plus 20 curse. See that like uh, purple meter down the bottom there? And every time that fills up, you get an you get a new curse. Eat that, mate. Ooh. We got a new skull as well. Sweet. Anything around here? Oh, there's a red glowy thingy there. <laughs> Good thing I had my torch out. Oh, red glowy again. There you go. A 
bosses take away one curse when you beat them, so if you want to go for a darkness build, now is the time, and make sure you get another curse before the boss. Yeah. Oh, whoa. That was scary. Hear the whispering, man. It's so cool. I love it. Ah! ready for that yet. You must have been uh, watching other other folk playing this game as well, then, uh, Flem. Yeah. Two timing me. A couple of other folks play it. Looked so interesting. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Dang it. Got to get the timing down for this. Ah! Ow, 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 ow. Ow! So is. You can't parry the, the big red hits then, I guess. Okay. Fifteen percent damage against weakened enemies, plus three decks. Gain a hundred percent damage taken in gold. That's really, really good. So whatever damage I take, it's gonna give me money for it. But that's gonna cost me fifty curse. get four perception for that though and it costs me less every time I make an offering I'm gonna take this one Keen bow is it better than the one that I've got? Cool, right, okay. It's, it doesn't replace anything. Ow! <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> we definitely need healing. And I'm intrigued by the possibilities of the question marks. So, gimme. Cadaverous infestation. Some enemies lie dormant, hidden within hosts, waiting for the moment to strike at yet another unwary prey. Regular enemies can spawn additional creatures when killed. Uh oh. <laughs> it does say can though, so... You know, it might not be 100% of the time. What is this? money
Uh oh. Oh no! Ah! I hit Paddy there instead, dang it. Offerings remove fifteen percent, fifteen corruption. I'll yeah, sure, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'll take it. If I need to replace something, I'm sure I can replace it later on. What do you get out of this? Ooh, a total big old, big old hammer. It's a two-handed weapon. So, do I prefer the big hammer or do I prefer the bow? Think. If I make a gold offering, it's going to remove 15. So when I do go into the next door, it's not going to take me straight up to rank 3. Yeah, hammer's really good. Main weapon, two handed weapon. I think we're going to have to go for that second hammer, like. Restores 1% of max health for each enemy killed. So if I use that a lot. And it removed some of my, my curse as well, so I can go through this door without fear of ranking up again. <coughs> yeah. Hey, pa Mr. Pastor Ham Lucas, how you doing, man? Nice to see you. See you nice. I hope you're doing well. Myself. Uh, doing well indeed. I love isometric games. This looks fun. Lurking and working for now. Keep at it. Yeah, uh, Mr. Pastor Ham. Thank you very much, man. Thank you again for lurking. Um, this is uh, this is a very fun game, and if you get the chance to play it, you should definitely should. Oh no! Money, 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 money. Yeah, intelligent would be the word for that. It's definitely a tactic, it's an advanced tactic, you know? Eat that! Oh my goodness. I said might. <laughs> like, enemy kills may spawn other enemies. May has been 100% so far. Ooh, cool. I like the angle of this area. Oh no, we don't have enough money for any of them. Oh no! Nah. Greed kill removes one corruption. 
Each greed kill removes a corruption. That's pretty good, like. Ah, oh, man. I think I'm going to... Yeah. I don't need the deck. Like, my dexterity build is too low for that now. There's no point in getting any of these, I don't think. What is the green one, anyway? What are, what are the stats? Per uh, perception. So, red strength... Uh, blue is Dex and green is Perception. Okay. Grab the Fragment one. Obsidian Fragments. It'll work well with your hammer. 50% damage against weakened enemies. Ooh, right, okay. That is true. But weakening an enemy also, uh, you can do that with parries as well. It doesn't need ne necessarily need to be with a hammer. But I can see your point though. That will take me to curse rank 3 though. Uh, okay. Offer blood. Here we go. Boss time. Or, yeah, it's boss time. Let's get them all, eh? Fool's bounty. The more a soul desires, the darker it becomes. Stealing from ancient powers leaves an even darker stain on the greedy. Opening a gold chest now inflicts corruption. Gold chests contain more gold. Ah, so it's a, a greed factor. Will you risk being corrupted more and being cursed more for more money? Nice. Boss time. What is this? Ah! Whoa! Music's really, really loud for me. Two seconds. System. Options. Uh, audio. Why is it so loud? Turn the music volume down. Okay, that hammer is useless against this boss. <laughs> oh no! Dang it, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah! No! Like, that is a total stun lock, that move. Like, I'm dead. Okay. Well, there you go. Thanks, Lucas. <laughs> Let's go for it again. Go for it again. We'll change we'll change up our weapons this time though. So what do we get? Light and darkness. Light reveals hidden traps. Uh, standing in darkness increases all damage you take. P 30 pages? You're giving me all these tutorials now. After I got killed. Cheers for that. I was only joking. Worn shield. Hammer. I'll take the hammer and gun then, I guess. Take. What do you mean press select for help? 
I don't what go away. Anyway, let's try that again. That was very difficult. That boss is really hard. Okay. So I think we're going to go for the relic to start off with. Yeah. Give us more stats. No! I get a thousand gold at the start anyway. I'm alright for money than now. It's not giving me any weapons yet. Big weapons. You won't have to do as many blood offerings. That's true. But I have to learn all this stuff anyway, so. The back seating is appreciated. But I'm new to the game, so there's always there's there's that space for sort of learning on my own as well, you know? Haha, <laughs> you're not allowed. <laughs> well, there you go then. Uh, base damage for pistols. Good, I like that. Since we're using pistols anyway. Attack me, I said. Okay. Golden hourglass. Two hundred percent greed kill time limit. That's amazing. Like I could it last twice as long. So I could chain these things up a lot better. Plus one level on main weapon, 30% critical damage. I think that's the one, like. These statues these days, not the same as they used to be. I think I'm going to offer... Eh, it's only 30. Save the money. Get this greed kill stuff on the go. <laughs> Go. Ooh. Give me all that money. Ow. 
that. You jerk. No thanks. So what was this? Weighted blades. Main weapon throwing. Projectile damage increased based on the distance travelled before impact. So the further away I am, the better. But stone hammer is really powerful. It's slow, but it's it's powerful. It's like twice as powerful as the blades. And if that was my ranged weapon, I probably would have took it. But sorry. Oh, I love the whip! I love the whips, man. The whip is so good. Forgot how good the whips are. Eat that. I'll take it. Don't you have a weapon slot left still anyways? Yes, but you can only hold... And wherever it tells you, you can hold it. That's the only place you can hold it. So if it's a two-handed weapon, it takes up the two-handed slot. If it's a main-handed weapon, it takes the main-handed slot, you know? <clears throat> See? Main hand, secondary, two hand, and whatever you whatever you pick up goes into that slot. I'm interested in like getting a better torch though. Like an, another torch would be quite good. Right, okay. Now that I've got the whip though, oh, Castlevania style. Eat that. I love it. So, I've been doing really badly. So I think I should. Nah. There's another healing thing later on. We can we can use that later on. We, we, we need the attributes to now. And I like I like when you when you uh, chain with it, like you can do a combo with it, and it'll do like a big spin attack. It's really cool. that a better whip? It's the same whip. Barbed whip. Yep. 32, 32. Charge attack weaken enemies. Love the whips, man. Oh yeah, I forgot. Like the things that you leave, you can. I forgot you can offer them. Dang it! And every time you go through the door, I forgot. I forgot about that. Sorry. Sorry. Whoa! <laughs> Ow! No, oh, corrupted me. Still learning, man. Still learning, and I will continue to learn until the learning is done. I should have went for that health. Uh, 
Um, did you get my reference there, by the way? And I shall continue to learn until the learning is done. It's a reference for the Hobbit. It's like, can you do something about this deluge? It's like, it is raining, blah blah blah, and it will continue to rain until the rain is done. No, I'm cursed! I'm so cursed. Once the darkness, a uh, dark fervor, once the darkness is in your blood, nothing can stop its spread, not even death. Corruption now passively increases over time. No! Going through a door no longer provokes corruption. That's annoying. It mean, this means I'm on a timer now. I have to do this fast. So what way should I go? Well, looks like I'm going this way. <laughs> oh no! Gotta go fast. You're no, you're no wrong. Take it, man. I prefer the claws over the hammers. Like the the, the claws and the whip are my favourite combination, at least so far, anyway. That I've found. I need to go this way if I'm wanting to heal, so I have to go this way. Oh no, I could have went the other way. Um, I, I could have went the other way because the blood was. Uh, oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. Absolute jerky. I do like the shield as well, though. Oh, we can offer that. I forgot. Um, offer. There you go. Give me some health back, you. You look like you're hurt. I'm extremely hurt. And my corruption's still going up. I hate this! I have to be fast. Can't explore because my curse is still going. I just parried a projectile. I'm a legend. I am a, I am led I am a le I am a legend. I am a legend. Let's offer gold, man. 
<clears throat> nice. Healing, definitely. Oh, this is a darkness area. No! Ooh. Let's just go. Let's just go. <laughs> Chimeric Pendant, one constitution, dexterity, and perception. Restore plus four max health. I think I'm going to go with the health. There you go. Cursing me! Get away! Eat that, jerk. I know. Curse time, baby. 15% critical damage to perception. Heal 12% of gold offerings amount. 12% of 1400 is only 140. Well, just over that. Constitution, perception. I think we're going to go for. We'll just offer gold for this one. At least we don't take curse for going through doors anymore, which is good. Life essence of those who, uh, who, of those who sully the sacred temples is not wasted. The value of blood is far greater than that of precious metals when used wisely. Urns no longer contain gold but are filled with blood. Blood heals but inflicts corruption. No thanks. Plus four to single highest attribute, uh, constitution, dexterity, perception. That's pretty good. So I both, uh, both the red and the blue one. Oh, it didn't, it didn't do anything. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh no. Primal Hammer.
Skyhammer. It's kind of like pointless, to be fair. I'll take one of them just because I want one. Well, if they're if they're both the highest, they should split that number. If it's plus four, make it twelve each. That's all I'm saying. Right, here we go. Let's do it. Let's kill this guy now. I know. Ow. No! No! I was so close! I was so close. I need to do that once more. The the claws and the whip are the way to go, like. Absolutely. That was really fun. <laughs>